Hello students, welcome to lecture 2 on information systems. In this lecture we will go through the functions of information systems like transaction processing systems, management information systems, decision support systems, and executive support systems. Let's begin by looking at functions of a transaction processing system. Transaction processing systems are found at the bottom of the information system pyramid. They handle day-to-day -day transactions and they perform basic input-output storage and processing functions in an organization. The input function includes capturing data entered and validating it so that it has no errors, while the output function results into process data that is easy to understand and storage is done for future retrieval function of a decision support system. Decision support systems receive data from management information systems and transaction processing systems and manipulate it and build upon it to generate new insights and create new information. The reports produced by the system are used to make unstructured decisions. Functions of executive support systems Executive support systems organize and present data and information from both internal and external data sources and from lower systems like transaction processing systems, management information systems, and decision support systems. In order to support and extend the inherent capabilities of senior executives. Let's now look at how information systems are related. This can best be seen by looking at the diagram in the slide. From the illustration, it can be seen that systems discussed previously are all interdependent on each other. Transaction processing systems are the primary source of data for the rest of the systems, and executive support systems receive data from all lower level information systems. Data once entered into information systems may be used at any level to produce reports for the system above or below in its hierarchy. Let's discuss the evolution of information systems. The evolution of systems began in the 1940s. The information system initially were developed for scientific or military applications. Later than in the 1950s, information systems were used for routine business applications and this is where transaction processing systems were developed. In the 1960s, management information systems and office automated systems were developed to aid in management and office work. In the 1970s, systems became strategic with the creation of decision support systems and local area networks. In the 1980s, with the advent of personal computers, client-server systems were introduced. Artificial intelligence and groupware were used to develop executive support systems. The 1990s saw information systems, the web, and intranets integrated to produce enterprise resource planning software. In 2000, Internet and smart systems give way to information management. Thank you.